I want to hear all of it again, and for me, it's really well played, but it is in many bits quite serious. Yeah, um, concerned and uh, in music where he writes "Allegro aperto," <coughs> so "Allegro aperto," open. You are open, and I think there is something to can open 
wider and uh, be more talkative in what you do. So let's start at the very beginning. Feeling of a sunrise. And maybe your next favorite would be the G. <laughs> so maybe don't play a button. So that the sweetness of that becomes, um, if, you, if you think about uh, every, every quarter note with a little push, then the aim is not as great. So the first one, I think, can be really there. Really a searching sound. And choreography. This moment in, I don't think it has happened before, that a concerto starts, the orchestra finishes, and nothing happens. And then an adagio starts in piano. So maybe um, don't, you already, kind of, yeah. and then search the note from somewhere. Vibrato-wise, the, the me is challenged because of the fourth finger? No? Well? Then, um, it, the, it, for me, the development could not only be in loudness, but also... Uh, and just from here, it is um, the warmness of them. You make a real legato in both the slurs, and as I'm for a moment a professor, um, for me the vibrato is really a, a part of your language. So if you go, it is very nice if that last E that doesn't want anything anymore, also doesn't want anything more. Both here. And here, so uh, and the next. All these last notes. End of a word. One last go at it, yeah. does not really change between all those notes from, from my ears. And from this, I think, if you had a word, oh, um, we all have stresses and non-stresses in our words, in whatever language. And this is the, what I don't hear, that is if an M starts in C sharp. Yeah, just go from here. Yeah, it has the same intensity, the C sharp. Yeah, 
Right, just that. Whatever the word is, um, you use the same tools, left and right hand for it. for your sound production. Try to stay away from, from doing too much of this. I'm not saying you should play louder, but uh, a singer would not, within his vowel, a slur is a vowel, he would not always go in and out when he wants to project. And then we have three A's. by the trill, I think that's the note where you are aiming for. Okay, next part. Okay. If I think of this um, wild boy in Mozart at the time, and you, he writes Allegro Aperto, and I think he wants to just catch everybody in the room, and I hear a bit of... Yeah, I'm being mean, but... Then he gets playful, jump up, bam, bam, and all the different things. And of course, this. <coughs> the fly is also very. Yeah? I know the control is good, but you play da 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 it's either or but both ways to have dum ba then makes it into a march, but which it is not. So I think the natural feel for it is da 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 or so the second note would have a intonal, a, a, a non-emphasis. And this way you make it into a, a dance somehow. This rambing, that's what he likes in comparison to an aria. He loves to challenge his singers but to have the soprano do. That's quite a challenge. That's what works so fine on the fiddle. So really be a uh, tenor. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be uh, as if the singing is going up, going on. Okay. Sure. How do we make we protect a uh, project here? You do? Yeah. You make your arm heavy. Yeah. I know in, it depends on, on the piano and on the size of orchestra you have, but um, with orchestra in the low register you have to have a different way of playing. Can you just play the whole opening slowly from the whole, just from here without piano? Slowly, but with all the things you want to do. Yeah? yeah. <coughs> you need to have full hair for 
for those two notes. Yeah. And that, and now that's the sound. If you yeah, really lean against the string, and before you're not playing on the string, or or are you playing that on the string? Oh, okay, yeah. Can you just do it for me, uh, the whole thing, once slowly, and even in there, try it. And, uh, the joy of not a, uh, like something is falling down and crashing in a good way, yeah? You're getting tight, leaning forward, which is not good for what you're playing. Yeah. If anything, you need to be more concise and wider open for that. Yeah. Okay, now you're back to tempo, kind of, but. Um, um, play it in tempo for me and this expression of joy. Try to give it to the whole thing, again without piano, yeah? while beginning and now he's really flirting and uh, playing. Yeah. Every measure is so. No, that may be a bit complicated. <laughs> Allegro Aperto means open strings. Aperto. Good. Uh, well done. So it, it needs a little projection of what you actually, how much joy you dare to project on us. And the other thing is just a bit technical that you shouldn't, not in the opening and not here, carry the bow, but let it rest in the string. For me, the next entry is bam, ba -da -ding, they finish in forte. And if you then go lyrical, it's maybe a bit disappointing because it is a trumpet motive, no? I think there's more in dialogue than, um, than the same thing, yeah? Otherwise, I, I would I would not do that. Um, you can start in piano or maybe part of it, but I'm just about the character of this. I think it's a trumpet, yeah? Um, so 
then it sounds again the slur and the other sounds too similar. Yeah. yeah? Well, just try once more to let your arm not go out of the string. The whole <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah. Then maybe don't. Use your vibrato for for the most beautiful moment. Yeah. First is loud, second is soft. This is like this. So uh, play with it. It's a generally a good idea, but it should still sound alive all the time. Yeah. One last time about the bit, bit before. I think you should dare to use more different sounds. And if you agree, dum ba da dim. Why? What does the vibrato do for a, a motif like that? Mm. If you rethink your vibrato. Okay, go on here. Yeah. And just one thing that this is a call song. And somebody else is answering, so it doesn't have to be yum, papa, from timing. Yum, papa, yum, something irrational. Yeah? Good. And they are not to do a If that were a slur, it would And then it's that we don't uh, uh, and then then I yeah da 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 yeah it's too serious yeah hello hello try one so so we hope that the two you don't. Where that it's the whole orchestra playing this, just pop 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 Okay, I would I would have given it a cool two because it's I don't I don't think it's meant to be beautiful. And you play a bit careful, and for me to he put a dash on every one of them, put eighth note, and then the second fiddle. So he's no, not even worse. It's a great invention because it's not a great invention. Uh, yeah, placed in the in the right moment. So it's just a vibrato. I, I think call a spade a spade.
last one long. Does it have a reason? For the... It's good to be long because then it's easier after, but that's not an argument. Okay? Go into your fiddle. But it's a the harmonic changes on the one and not on the three. Okay. So that ba ba is only so it's easier to do. It doesn't count. Never in Mozart use the kind of sound and heavy bow because it just doesn't help the music. But this is, you're not really hitting the, not hitting the string, you're just going slightly above it and so it doesn't project enough. Um, and do you know what he writes in this, in the beginning? How it's the dynamic are in the orchestra introduction. It's 40 here. And then piano. Not to do that only because in the solo he never writes anything. It doesn't make too much sense for me because he likes the joke of the harmony on this. On the, on the F sharp. And again, this uh, um, dominant, and then release. So do a bit like in the introduction. And in a concerto, that can really be open, and the sound doesn't come if you go. Yeah. Piano, yes, but the but it was with a core in the sound. No what? Are you content with the feel of it in your in your bow? Okay. Thank 
Yeah, we have two little places where we sing in this moment, and but it's not a. I think it's not enough if it's strong. It's a, And I would suggest one more. Later you do. Yeah, I think it should be the same here with over the string. Don't use the fourth finger, it's too complicated. It's more fun in a way, yeah? on every half beat and um, John so for me the, the whole scenery in the opera all of a sudden she somebody runs in and gives her a letter and she gets really bad news which for me uh, Much more to the harmonies and to the actual written forte in there, so that the first entrance is not not simply melancholic, but also agitato. Yeah. But in order to allow them to play this forte, you have to. Play not I'm really being exaggerating, but it is a yeah. there may not be a consonant in the middle of it. Yeah? Stay in the string. Until the lager. So, which is the dissonant note in here? So, we have the from the and we have the. It's the B is the unusual note, yeah. The complaint. Yeah. And if you were you're done, you're taking that away, yeah? And the whole audience has thought it before and when you come in everybody plays piano. So you don't have to so it's like resignation after and then you have another chance. Yeah, once more. Really, uh, go in your fiddle.
after going through all this, it's for me the... No, it can be loud, but joyful, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, bitter, down, bitter. And it's twice always the same, so maybe not down, bitter, down, bitter, down, yeah, bitter, down, bitter, down, bitter, down. And then it is nice, I guess, to either do a... Either at the menu or leading into it, but most importantly, not not suffer. Yeah. I don't know where to go. And, and then. nicest name you want to hear and then say the name and it's four different harmonies and intensity for me it's the feeling of a scoop and for you it's the uh, feeling of, of an arrow so I think Especially the upper, it should be a But you know that you don't see ya. What's the name you want to hear there? Mother. 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 Mama. 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 No, mama, mama, that's angry, yeah, mama. Uh, especially in the upper, maybe for practice reasons, don't use the whole bow, yeah, it's enough two centimeters for mama. Yeah. And then release. Hello.
I'm getting up all to the high A. But let us feel the joy of doing that, yeah? So we have a long one. On the two short ones. Ta. Here, big into da 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 But you have to, ex you know your cadenza, mm -hmm. but for us you have to explain whatever the tempo is that it belongs to you. If you play, we, we don't know yet what it is. So, whatever the tempo is, we need to recognize what it is. And then the papi, the E major. Yeah? Yeah. Just C major, light in A major. No. that we recognize the shape even though it gets more complicated with the accompaniment. Can you do the first one? Now that we take the um, why don't you make the A major a, a moment of, of, of beauty and joy? It, it's, uh, it sounds exactly the same as the measure before. So, Where you are at your aim for the top note and have it play for. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, yeah, try the. Thank <laughs> you. 